Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another Databricks video. Today we are going to continue with Databricks asset bundles. Last time the video we did was about how to create an asset bundle manually. This time the difference is we are going to use a template and we are also going to use Poetry instead of setup tools to build a Python wheel. Again, we are not doing anything spectacular, we are going to follow the Databricks documentation. I believe it's necessary to go through the simple examples before we move on to something more advanced. Just a reminder, Databricks Asset Bundles are a tool to facilitate CICD, continuous integration and delivery, source control, code review and testing. So, let's jump into the code. Ok guys, now here we are on the official documentation, Databricks documentation, where it says how to create the bundle by using a template. So in these steps here we, we are going to create the bundle by using the Databricks default bundle template for Python. Now instead of using uh, setup tools to build the Python wheel, we are going to use Poetry. Setup authentication, we did that in our last video, so here you have to use this command here and paste your workspace URL that you will find here on your Databricks environment. So copy that and using this command here you are going to authenticate to Databricks. So then you can see the, also the profiles and the tokens. Now let's go to the create the bundle step. A bundle contains the artifacts you want to deploy and the settings for the workflows you want to run. Use the terminal and here we have to use this command Databricks bundle in it. Of course, first you have to uh, have installed the Databricks CLI. We did that in the previous video. So now let's copy this command and run it into your CMD, uh, your uh, command prompt and Create an empty directory first and then copy this command, let me copy that correctly and paste it here and this is going to, now you have all these options, so use the profile that you want. I'm using this workspace profile, template, the default is Python, so we want that. Unique name for this project, so here the unique name for this project, that's demo, so let's let me do that, demo and you want a stub, a sample notebook here, it says uh, yes, so press enter, press yes to all of them, so you want a sample Delta, Delta Live table pipeline, yes, yes as well. Okay, now we have this uh, new project in this directory, if we uh, go into the demo directory now let's see we have all those files here okay guys let's switch to the file explorer and see all those files okay now we have resources here we define the yaml files with uh, we define the jobs and the pipelines under source we have our notebooks with the business logic and then here we have the tests the main test, we have git ignore Databricks YAML file, very important, and the setup uh, tool for building the Python wheels. Now let's switch to the documentation, see what it says for those files. Databricks YAML file, this file specifies the bundle's programmatic name, includes a reference to the Python wheel job definition and specifies settings about the target workspace. Then under resources directory, we have uh, uh, YAML files that this file specifies the, the Python will jobs settings and under source directory we have the direct, this directory include the file uh, the files that the Python will job uses to build the Python will file. Now let's open all those files and see what we have. Let me open this demo job YAML file here and see what we have. So we have resources, jobs, demo job, the name of the job we have a scheduler here, pretty nifty, right? We have email notifications when uh, it fails. And then here we define the tasks. So we have the task key. 
the job cluster key, so which job cluster or whatever cluster you are going to use to run this task here. We define the job cluster down here where it says job cluster, the job cluster key, new cluster here you specify the version of the Spark version, the node type ID, the workers, etc. etc. Let me change that to one actually. And uh, here we have uh, the second task which is refresh the pipeline and it depends on the previous task here. So we have dependencies here and then we have the main task that depends on the previous refresh pipeline task key and we also have the python will task package demo and report main. Here we have the libraries by default we just include the will file generate for the demo package by default, right? Okay, perfect, that's one uh, YAML file. Let's see this, the other one, the demo pipeline. Let's see what we have here. Resources, pipelines, demo pipeline. We have the target, libraries, notebook. And here we point to the source uh, directory to this notebook here, Jupyter Notebook and the source path. So let's open actually let's go back one step and open what the director the source directory and see what we have so we have the notebook and here we have the jupyter notebook uh, that uh, that we are using uh, for the business logic let's go back to dlt pipeline the same here we have this uh, dlt pipeline so the previous YAML files were pointing to these uh, Jupyter Notebooks, right? And demo, we have the main project uh, here. So let's see what we have. Get taxis, yeah, from uh, the New York taxi data set, etc., etc. We don't do anything. We just show five records. And this is it pretty much. Now under tests, we have the main test. Let's see what we have here and we test the results with assert okay that's fine and here databricks yaml file so here what we have we have bundle name include uh, the resources so includes all those yamls that we have under resources which uh, under resources we define the jobs and the pipelines right so it includes all those yamls we have in this uh, directory here and then targets for the dev environment. So we use mode development to indicate this is a personal development copy. Deployed resources get prefixed with dev, my username, any job schedules and triggers are post by default. The development mode is used for Delta Life Table pipelines. Mode development default true and this workspace. Now this is my work database workspace. And if you want staging here, you have to uncomment this part. And then we have prod, mode production, workspace the same, root path, run as this user name. And then uh, what else? We have the setup for the Python wheel. And here we have setup, name, etc., etc. All those things that we need to build the Python wheel. So the next step is actually to go to the documentation and follow step four which is update the projects bundle to use poetry instead of setup tools now by default the bundle template specifies building the python wheel file using setup tools along with the files setup and requirements dev.txt if you want to keep these defaults then skip to step five okay we don't so we have first of all we have to install poetry now if we open this link here how to install poetry and first you need to install pip x that's a, a new one for me but how you do it is actually here open this link here and if you have already uh, pip installed then it's pretty easy because what you can do is uh, go here where it says python minus m pip install user you go to your command line you paste this, uh, I'm using Python, okay, you run this, command here, I have already installed pipx, and here again, to ensure that you have, uh, you have it in your system path, 
and you run this command as you can see uh, it is already in path pretty and this is how you can install pipx and then go back here and then use pip install poetry copy that paste it to your cmd come on paste it here to your cmd and i have already installed poetry it will take a few minutes not that fast right so you have poetry installed now the next thing you have to do here is to use poetry in it so copy this command here go here and use poetry in it just wait for it package name so the package name would be demo and then version we have 0 0.0.1 and then description just provide a description demo project whatever and then author yep license okay compatible yes would you like to define the main dependencies interactively here we just use no as recommended in this tutorial so well, i think i okay and here is the generated file you click yes and here we have uh, added uh, poetry adds a project uh, tom l file to the bundles project you can see more information about here and uh, uh, and if you want from the bundles root directory instruct poetry with the pi project dot tom l file resolve the dependencies and install them create a poetry log file to log the dependencies and finally create a virtual environment so let's switch to the file explorer and see what we have here now we have a pi project as you can see tom l source file now if we open that you will see here all these uh, things tool poetry na name version description authors uh, python and all these things built and now uh, what we want is to use poetry install copy that to your command line and it's going to generate poetry.log file right L writing log file let me switch here as you can see now we have poetry log if you open that as well you will see here all these things and add the following section to the end of the pi project tom yaml file replacing project name with the name of the directory that contains uh, okay so let let me copy that and then let's go to pi project and then open it and then in the at the end paste that project name is demo for me so let's save this and uh, yeah and then we have to add the following mapping at the top level of bundles databricks yaml file so let me copy that open databricks yaml databricks yaml and then paste it at the bottom okay save that as well and now we have to delete the setup.py and the requirements dev txt let's go back remove those two delete them and here we have to use databricks bundle validate now to validate our bundle okay validation passed now build the python will file and deploy the local project to the remote workspace uh, we don't need to use the setup tools because we used poetry now let's go straight to the deployment and paste the, this command databricks bundle deploy minus t into dev environment and it's going to upload as you can see the will as well now uh, once this uh, deployment is finished let's uh, we are going to switch to databricks workspace and see what we get the deployment is finished successfully so now if you switch to your databricks workspace under the folder dot bundle and then open dev and then files you will see here all the code that you have the pipelines and uh, the source uh, all the code here the notebooks etc etc now what it says here is if you want to see the library that we created the python wheel that we created we have to go dev artifacts internal and we will see the python wheel so dev 
artifacts internal and here is the python wheel that we created and then this wheel can be used you can install this wheel to your uh, tasks to your job clusters right so here we have uh, the job here is the job here and we have the tasks and well the, we can define the notebook task and then here the refresh pipeline that depends on the previous one and the main task here as well so and then we also have a DLT uh, pipeline here if you want to check and here is our DLT pipeline that we can start now if you go back to your jobs uh, if you click on the job as you can see here you cannot make any changes when you go under tasks and you check the task here everything is locked right so if you want to run it manually you click on disconnect from source and this is going uh, to run but uh, here uh, redeploy your band to reconnect to your deployment source now we can redeploy let me redeploy again for a second AWS deploy again and with it should go back to the state it was as you can see the state now is back to disconnect from source as we redeployed and the final step here is actually to run the deployed project using this command databricks bundle run minus t dev and the project name so let me copy this command to my notepad change the project name to demo and then paste it to command line so let me paste it to command line here and let's see it should kick off this uh, job here demo job is running so let's see it give it a second to refresh and here as you can see it started running and this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video we followed this tutorial here i'm going to paste the link uh, in the description the we use the template that prov is provided using the databricks command line and we also used poetry instead of setup tools and i recommend you uh, start using poetry as well i think it's uh, more convenient that setup tools and it's much better actually so thank you for watching guys i hope you like the video and you learned something new please click the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you